Set yourself up with one knee forward. You're going to bring your rib cage down. You're going to tighten your body and walk your foot out as far as it can go. You're going to bring your hand to the ground if that's possible. If not, raise it up on a yoga block. Press your knee into your arm for your first pale contraction, ramping up over the first five seconds and holding for the last 10 seconds. Make sure you don't have tension in your neck, but that you're remaining long in the torso. Relax and press your knee back for your rail contraction. Again, ramping up over the first five seconds, holding for the remaining 10 seconds. Release and now bring your knee forward into your arm. Keep lengthening out of your head, contracting your core and making sure your rib cage is down. For your second rail, push your knee back. Keep pushing that knee back all the way to the end of the hold. Third set, bring your knee forward into your arm, pressing your knee into your arm and your arm pushing back so that it makes a very tight resistance. Core engage, rib cage down, length out of the head, Last one on this side, pressing your knee back, getting to your maximum contraction. Release the contraction and now we're just gonna do a static hold for 30 seconds, but again, you can hold it for as long as 60 or 90 seconds, but we're gonna do 30 seconds here. There's no contraction during that static stretch. You want to really think about lengthening your muscles and really relaxing, but still finding length in your torso so you're not just collapsing into the stretch. Remember that your whole body participates. Just like if you were going to do a squat, you're not going to just flop over your upper body, so we want to train it to be in a good posture at all times. And release that, and we're going to do the other side. 